Walnut Hill Bible Church is grateful to the Lord for its proud history dating back to 1847. Forty-five pastors have been called to lead and feed the flock over those many years, but it's no secret the Lord has carried His church through a capable and faithful membership. Lay people who believe God's Word, love His church, and answer the call to serve again and again and again. Today we shine a membership spotlight on one such faithful couple, Dale and Joy Maher. It was in the summer of 1968 when the Mahers settled into Lake Delton, Dale accepting a position at the Dells High School teaching English and coaching basketball and football. By the fall of 68, the Mahers found a church home, one they would call their own for over five decades, the First Baptist Church of Baraboo. What the church may have lacked in numbers, only about 30 people in 1968, they made up for in spirit. In 1971, under the direction of new pastor Carl Swart, the struggling church began to find its stride. The Mahers were among a number of core families dedicated to growing the church through gospel preaching, Bible teaching, outreach, service, and some good old-fashioned clean fun. Dale's involvement in the church is storied in depth and length of service. No responsibility too high to accept, no person too low to serve. Dale took roles as a deacon, church moderator, steering committee chair, pulpit committee member, Sunday school teacher, and much more. He was involved in all types of evangelism, outreach, and mission trips, domestic and overseas. Joy oversaw children's programming, women's ministry, and the newsletter. She pioneered the current church library and faithfully carried the long tradition of a very active and dynamic ministry of the Ladies' Guild. The Mahers raised their five daughters as full participants in the church through the 1970s and 80s, instilling within them a love for God, a heart for people, and a vision of church as home and family. The Mahers were essentially involved in about everything that the little church was doing. Always present, always a blessing. The distance from Lake Dalton crossed countless times. After years of growth, Joy took a position on the church staff, serving as Director of Educational Ministries from 1982 to 1988. She oversaw Bible schools, children's church, choir productions, five-day clubs, and Awana. After retiring from teaching in the later 1990s, Dale was pursued by new pastor Dave Hutchins to join the staff of a surging church under a new name, Walnut Hill Bible Church. Dale became an associate pastor at this critical time. His highly organized and visionary service was effective and timely in establishing a greeter ministry for morning services, contact teams for reaching out to new people, nurture groups for in-home ministry, and silver saints for our older members, and the networking system for people to identify their spiritual gifts and find ways to serve in the church. Always an organizer and coach, Dale established a summer golf league along with a wildly successful youth football camp with coaches from the area and around the Midwest. The gospel was presented each and every year to kids from Baraboo and surrounding communities. Well, of course, the story's not over. Dale and Joy continue to be active members of the church, always reaching out to new folks, checking in with the young people, supporting old friends, participating in Bible studies and life groups, Dale taught a Sunday school class on parenting teens as recently as 2016. Joy shared her insights and quick wit as a speaker for a women's event just a couple weeks ago. Dale and Joy Maher have exemplified the kind of faithfulness and self-sacrificial service that has marked Walnut Hill for decades. We can all see how the Lord has used the fun, thoughtful, humble, 
and dedicated service of people like Dale and Joy to strengthen and grow his church. And today, we give thanks. You may be seated, otherwise you're not going to see me up here. <coughs> I am going to give Dale a chance to say something if he'd like, but I'd ask that he not call me Dinglefoots this time. Um, <laughs> after the Mahers came in 1968, it was already in February of 69 that they became members of the church. And so as of yesterday... Uh, they have been members, faithful, active members in the church for exactly 50 years. <laughs> and so I have a clock to present for the Mahers that says, Dale, enjoy Maher in recognition, in recognition of 50 years of faithful and outstanding service as members of Walnut Hill Bible Church, February 2nd, 1969 to February 2nd, 2019. Congrats, you guys. I've always... I've always had trouble talking to people. <laughs> but I'll try. Um, actually... Being at, at Walnut Hill, starting with the First Baptist Church, uh, we received an awful lot more than we ever gave. Um, I can remember when our, our uh, kids were growing up and getting to be teenagers and so on, and mom and dad would tell them things, but uh, they had youth leaders that would reinforce what we said, and for some reason they'd listen to them more than they would listen to us, I think. And so we always felt that uh, a great, not only a comfort, but um, uh, a positive perspective in being here. And if I could share one thing with all of you, and that is that uh, having a church home, with the emphasis on capital letters of home, that you regularly come to and you bring your family to uh, shouldn't be just uh, an experience. It should be a lifetime uh, involvement. And God will honor you and your family for doing that very thing. Uh, I feel so honored. And, and really, um, how can I say it? it? It's so unusual that in all those years, essentially, we've had three pastors. And Dan is the youngest, but he's not the least. Uh, Dan has been a, a great extension <clears throat> of what we've had here all these years. And never, never underestimate what you're having the opportunity to experience. Um, we've worked with a lot of young couples over the years, and some who have left to, for other jobs, etc., and almost always when we see them, when we come, well, again, they'll say, boy, we sure miss Walnut Hill. And I, I don't think that's an idle statement. So don't cherish the opportunities that you're experiencing and thank God for them. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, guys. I'll let you go ahead. Thanks, Dan. 